Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're given a system of inequalities and we're asked which of the following does the shaded region represent the solution set to the system. So first we have to work out the boundary lines here. So for this first one, we have y is equal to x plus 2. And then the second one, we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. So you just take this inequality sign and you just turn it into an equal sign and now you have your equation of the lines that are forming the boundary here. So this one is already in slope intercept form and we're going to want to get this one in it too. So we want to get y alone. So if we subtract 2x from both sides, these cancel, we get 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. Divide everything by 3. These cancel, we get y is equal to negative 2 over 3. x plus 6 over 3 is plus 2. So now we have this line and this line. And you'll notice I didn't put any um, tick markers on the graphs in the answers. And that's because if you look at all of them, they all have the same shape. It's not disagreeing on where the lines are. We have a line going like this. We have a line going like this, right? So which one is which? Well, if you notice, this um, equation has a positive slope, right? Positive one. And this one has a negative slope, negative two thirds. So this is y is equal to x plus two because it has a positive slope. And this has the, is the equation y is equal to negative two thirds x plus two because it has a negative slope. What does that mean? Well, if we bring back in the um, inequalities, we have y is greater than x plus two and y is less than or equal to negative two thirds x plus three or negative two thirds x plus two. So for this one, we're looking for y values that are greater than the line. So that's this line. So we're looking for y values that are greater than it. So that's gonna be all of these numbers above the line. And for this one, we're looking for y values less than the line. So that's this line, and then it's going to be everything underneath it. And then the solution to the system is going to be where we have a crosshatch, where both solutions are coinciding, and that's going to be this section right here. So if you can think about this as the section to the left, above, to the right, and down, this is the section to the left, which is formed in B which means B is going to be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.